Hi viewers. Today's session, I'm going to explain about uh, PDO, that is uh, push down optimization. Before explaining PDO, let me explain first how the execution will happen, how the data will be loaded into the target. Okay, once you trigger the workflow. So uh, let me take an example of the mapping. So I just created the mapping. So source, source qualifier I have taken and I just used one more uh, filter condition filter used and the filter condition is salary greater than 1000 simple uh, condition I given and then I use sorter in the sorter I am sorting the data first based on the department number and within that ascending order uh, no department number ascending order and within that salary descending order I am doing it so I used sorter and I am using the next one is expression so in the expression i'm just you know created uh, three more columns okay three more ports only output ports and two ports i just configured hard coded the values one is uh, created by equal to that is hey month and the created date i just configured as a session start time and the total salary i just done one uh, small calculation salary into 12 Okay, so you can use expression by calculations, right? So I just done the calculation and this is simple mapping. I used it and then I connected to the target and same thing if you execute it. Okay, so how, th how the load will happen? Let's see it out before doing the load. I will give some more configuration in the session level. That is one right backward uh, backward compatible session log. I just ticked in and collect performance data ticked okay the box check box is you know checked so with this what will happen in the collect performance data i will get complete record count in the particular transformation in and out okay so that is the main advantage of this uh, collect performance data so let's trigger the uh, load and before triggering the load go back and open the session logs directory so it will be informatica power set power center 8.5.1 and then server and then info shared so within this session logs will be there so first let me delete this all so i don't want you to confuse so now go ahead and trigger the workflow start start workflow is running if you can double click you will you can you will get the statistics over here so if you can see here this is the source and this is the target so both information you will you know uh, you can see that and the source source qualifier 14 records are fetched and 12 records are loaded into the employee dpt pdo table so that's the statistics it was shown and go back to the logs and if you can see the log what query it was executed first let's find it out if you can see here this is the query source call for a query so select emp dot emp number emp dot ename emp dot job emp dot manager in emp dot hire date emp dot salary emp dot commission emp dot department number from emp so this meaning is selecting all the columns from emp table so how it is the execution is happened is first the query select query was executed and then whatever the resulted data is passed through all the transformations from filter sorter and expression so it's touch each and every transformation and according to the configuration the you know the data flow and whatever whatever the data is came out of this expression is loaded into the okay target so this meaning is it should touch all the transformation whatever the configuration you give it will flow uh, no it will uh, um, on that flow it on the channel it will flow and final data only it will load into the target so this is how the normal way it is loaded and if you can see the performance data performance uh, file okay so it will give the complete information so which transformation it is is a filter transformation how many input rows came 
14 came and 12 output came. So input is 14, output is 12. That's meaning is two records are okay less than 1000 is there. Those records are filtered in the filter condition. And then sorter, 12 records came in and 12 records came out. And expression, 12 records came in and 12 records came out. So this file will you know, uh, give you the information about the, all the transformations. Whatever the transformation if you are using, all the transformation information it will give and how many inputs and how many outputs it will specify in the performance file. So think you have millions of the records, millions of the records. If the data wants to flow from the same way, okay, how you specified in the pipeline in the channel. So it should touch each and every transformation and finally it should load the target. So if, if, if you want to do this process, it takes a lots of lots of time if, if the data is more. So in that case, to improve the performance, PDO came into the picture. So PDO push down optimization. So what push down optimization will do is it will convert complete this logic, whatever the informatical logic or complete logic, it will convert into the SQL and that SQL will be executed into the database. So automatically the load will be happening. It won't flow towards the channel, this pipeline. So how to configure that push down optimization? Let's go ahead and see. It's not, it won't be there in the mapping. It will be there in the session level. So in the session level, there are two options are available. Okay, so the first option is here in this place in the properties. Actually, here you need to configure. So if you can see here, push down optimi optimization. Okay, so if you can see here, here you need to configure. So what is two source, two target, full. Three types are available. Three options are available. There is a two source, two target, full. But the configuration maybe you done you, you will do here. So before that itself, you have a one more option called to view. Okay, how which option it how it will works. So that's meaning is in the mapping tab, if you can see here the push down optimization, just click on here. So this will give you the viewer. So whether it is working, creating, you know, generating the SQL uh, queries properly or not, if you want to check, this is just viewer. Okay, you can view it. So I previously I said the options. This is two source. Two target full three options are available. So, what is meant by two source? So, two source mean it will convert okay how much extent it is possible because this is also having the some limitations. Okay, so if you configure two source, thus mean how much extent is possible okay to convert the SQL statement okay that much is it will convert it and that SQL statement will execute into the source data, source database in the source table on top of source table so uh, in the mapping we have the emp table and the filter and the sorter expression and the target so now it is showing till expression so it can able to convert it so uh, it will convert till expression and this is the conversion if you can see here, here in the uh, query hi everything is there and the hot coded also hey month i given it in the expression i given the hey month on the two timestamp so I just given the timestamp, what time it is, you know, session start time. It is converted into the session start time. And the calculations, salary into 12. So everything will be calculated. So now all this logic will be, you know, uh, converted into the SQL. Same SQL statement will be executed into the uh, database. And resulted data will flow remaining, uh, remaining pipeline, remaining channel. It will flow and load into the target. So that is the two source. At the same time, two target main towards target how much extent it may it will possible that much extent it will uh, you know push it okay to, it will convert into the uh, target so it says this sorter can't able to uh, you know push it so only expression can able to push it so how the data will flow from normally it will execute the query whatever the query is there you know uh, source call fair and then pass into the filter and then pass into the so you uh, know sort of transformation once it is done then this query will be excluded so these things will be excluded into the target okay so that is that is what uh no two target so this way this query will be excluded into the target whatever the resulted data it will be excluded over there and most of the people in the most of the companies will use full option so they won't you know most of the people won't use two source two target they will go for the full 
दस मीनिंग इज कंप्लीट लॉजिक ओके सो इंसर्शन ओके सेलेक्शन क्रिएशन एवरीथिंग ओके इट विल बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू द एसक्यूल स्टेटमेंट सो दट एक्सक्यूल स्टेटमेंट विल बी एक्सक्यूटेड इन टू द टारगेट सो दट सॉल ऑटोमेटिकली दट एसक्यूल स्टेटमेंट इट सेल्फ विल इंसर्ट द डेटा सो इट वोट पास थ्रू दिस पाइपलाइन सो दट इज कॉल्ड फुल बट दिस फुल and uh, uh, no all two source two target having some limitations but if you are you no know, using the full so it will give you the suggestions even though it will give so having limitations it will give you the suggestions what causing to stop this uh, full uh, push to on optimization so if you can basic uh, you no know, limitation is you can see here full push to on optimization stops at the target emp dept pdo because it uses a different connections from source this meaning is the connections what you are using the connections name okay the connections name should be equal so the credential credential which is used uh, for both the source and target should be same that's what so here you have used a oracle oracle is nothing but a scott i configured in the oracle i configured the scott's uh, username and password and here i configured as target target username and password i configured it. so both are different different so this is the limitations so what you need to do you both should be same credential you need to use it so let me configure this one oracle but as a given okay scott username and password in this oracle connection so if you want to load into the emp dept pdo table so where this table is present it is present in the target schema so that is the reason i will specify over here target and then it will load into the target schema emp dept pdo table so now save it so whatever the viewer suggested i done it okay so now go back and check whether it can able to uh, push down full or not so let me select full option and then see here yes so there is no red mark everything able to this one here itself is saying insert into target directly insert statement itself it is giving it even target also pushing it everything so this statement will be excluded into the okay uh, uh, database and the data will be loaded okay so with using this the performance will be drastically improves so now this will this viewer will give just idea whether it is working okay perfectly it is able to convert or not okay so configuring here is no use just is a viewer that's it but where you need to configure again you need to go back to the properties and then in the performance tab there is a uh, option called push down optimization here is a none and if you can say the full and then say okay save it now before executing let me delete it again all the call all the files over here delete let me execute it now i just executed it's running double click on it so that i will get some statistics over here see if you see here previously it was shown as source and target both it is shown but now only target it is showing it how many loaded only it is showing so that is the difference you uh, know uh in the normal and uh, when you when you are using the pdo so if you can go back to see here okay what is the query is used to uh, no generate what is the query is generating so this is the insert query is generating so just make make it sorted enter enter and the where statement so complete logic will be your uh, mapping logic will be converted into sql statement and this sql statement will be uh, executed in the database and automatically the data will be loaded so definitely it is uh, you know uh, pretty useful right and the performance also will increase right and if you go back and see the performance table performance file okay information if you can double click here see what happened so there is no transformations uh, information itself the meaning is it's not passing through the any transformation It's directly loading into the database. So this is how you can you know uh, make use of the PDO and you can improve the performance of the session. And 
so this is how we can configure the push drone optimization this is the basic configuration of pdo and we have seen one limitation that is uh, the connection should be same okay and same way there are couple of limitations also available and depend upon the transformation you are using in your mapping so it will expect additional configuration need to be done okay and that additional configuration and advanced settings i will be discussing in the next video so please watch my next video to get detailed information detailed uses of the pdo and if you have any questions please reach out to the below mail id the mail id is data warehouse dwh dwh.informatica.trainings at the rate of gmail.com and if you have any feedbacks feel free to reach me this mail id so thanks for watching video and have a great day then. Bye-bye.